Thousands of people have taken part in rallies across France to express outrage at the beheading of a teacher in a suspected Islamist attack. Samuel Paty was killed near Paris on Friday after showing pupils cartoons of the Prophet Mohammed during a lesson on freedom of speech. Our Paris correspondent Lucy Williamson reports. Once again around the figure of Marianne, a sea of defiance. This statue, this square, a homing point for a nation whose values have come under attack. Since his death on Friday, Samuel Paty, like others before him, has become a symbol of France itself. It's important to be here today for this, to show our collective strength, because that's what can help us follow principles during tough times. We're here to defend the values of the Republic, liberty, equality, fraternity and secularism. The government is too inactive. Something must be done. The Prime Minister, Jean Castex, arrived in Place de la République in a mask printed with the French flag. His message on Twitter today read, You won't scare us. We're France. The newest slogan on posters here, I am Samuel, or simply, I am a teacher. An echo of the rallying cry sparked by the attacks on Charlie Hebdo five years ago. This sombre rally is a show of unity in the wake of Samuel Paty's death, but it's also proof of the power of social media to deliver a message and bring people together. The same power that enabled a one-man campaign against a local teacher to spiral out of control. Samuel Paty was killed by a man who knew him only through social media. The result of an online campaign launched by an outraged parent that spread quickly outside Conflans. Across France, tens of thousands of people have joined the rallies in his name. A man who stood for the values of the nation, remembered today by a nation standing with him. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Paris.